All right, thank you, Ben. Imagine going decades of your life all the way to retirement, assuming you're an only child, and then finding out your family tree is actually bigger than you imagined. Local man's curiosity got the know, best right? of him, and as he tells our Coco Maca boy, it led to re a reunion he never planned. It's time to head for home. For 35 years, Mark Honeyman shared the soundtrack of his life with his students as an English teacher. This profession was my heartbeat. It was a core part of my DNA. Honeyman retired this year, and he thought it would be the most pivotal moment for him. But the past few months proved him wrong. It was the most miraculous six months of my life. Honeyman was adopted as a baby, never knew his biological parents, and it didn't bother him. I never was in search of my roots or anything. Until his parents passed. All right, so. Then he started digging on ancestry websites like 23andMe and suddenly got an email saying. And we discovered it was a half brother and we discovered it was you. Just like that. I went from being an only child of an only child of an only child with no living relatives on earth to having seven siblings in the snap of a finger. Oh. Honeyman traveled to Nebraska to meet his newfound family, a moment that still touches him. I haven't watched this since <laughs> that day it happened. So it's still emotional for you. Yeah. The reunion bringing tears and laughs for Honeyman. They were trapped in traffic and dashing to get there on time. Oh, so a family uh, gathering too beautiful nice to simply express a in spoken word. <laughs> that you're our brother. Honeyman wrote a song just for his seven siblings months ago, and to this day, he still sings it. A part of me was still unborn. Honeyman's teaching chapter may be over, but a new stage is now unfolding. You know, I've got a, I've got a family to explore. And it's just the beginning. Coco McAvoy, Local 4.